Number 52. A 2.5-meter segment of wire supplying current to the motor of a submerged submarine carries 1,000 amps and feels a 4-newton repulsive force from a parallel wire 5 centimeters away. What is the direction magnitude of the current in the other wire? So basically, here's one current. Okay. Let's just say it's pointing to the right. They tell you that uh, this thing is going to be uh, 2.5 supplying current. Yep, 2.50 meters. They told you the current here, the I is going to be 1,000 amps in this thing, and it feels a repulsive force. So let's just point it upwards for now, and you'll see why <clears throat> in a second. So here's the force, and it tells you the force here is going to be 4 newtons. <clears throat> and it tells you that there's another parallel wire 5 centimeters away. So in other words, here, let's say that this represents 5 centimeters, which you know we need that in meters, so just 0.05. Right, meters. Now in order for, and we talked about this in number 50, so please check that out. In order for there to be a repulsive force on this wire, by this wire, uh, they have to be pointing, the currents have to be pointing in opposite directions. You can memorize it if you want, if you want to understand why, check out number 50. So, um, okay, so I know the direction of the current, it has to be pointing in the opposite direction. So now the magnitude, okay, so I have to find the current in this wire. All right, now what do, what do we know? Right? What do we know? Well, we know the force on the top wire. So let's call this wire one. And this will be wire two. So the force on wire one produced by wire two will equal the current flowing through I, the current, excuse me, flowing through, um, the current flowing through the wire one, sorry. My brain is freezing. Multiplied then by the length of wire one, multiplied now by the magnetic field produced acting on wire one, okay, which is really produced though by wire two, and then multiplied now by the angle. Now they didn't tell us anything about angle or did they parallel? Yeah, but if you take a look at number 50 again, you'll know that they're 90 degrees, okay? So 90 degrees, sine of 90 is just one. So that just cancels. So now, okay. So here we have F1 sub 2 is equal to I1 L1 B sub 2. All right. So does this formula solve for current in the other wire? Meaning does this solve for current in and so right now is there current sub 2, right? I sub 2? No, there's I sub 1. But don't fret. We can expand on this beta sub 2. Not beta, it's B. This B sub 2. We have seen this before now a couple of times where we're going to do this substitution with that formula. That formula right there represents the current flowing, excuse me, that represents the magnetic field produced by a current flowing in a wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my substitution. And now this becomes the permeability of free space multiplied, multiplied by the current in the second wire. Right? Multiplied by 2 pi now times the radius, and the radius represents the distance between the two, which is the 0.05, okay? Like I said, if you take a look at number 50, this will make sense. Now, this is what I'm after, okay? That's actually what I want to solve for, okay? So now, I just have to do math and be able to solve for that. So cross-multiply this on out. That's simple, right? We've seen that. Oop, nope, I don't want to change the color. We've seen that now. Cross-multiply that on over. Cross-multiply this on out and down. Cross multiply this, and there's now the formula. Get rid of the parentheses and just clean it up a little bit. And there's now I2. That's what I want to find. So this is now equal to 2 pi. And by the way, let's expand on the permittivity of free space just so you see something. Actually, yeah, forget about it. Let's just leave it. Let's just plug everything on in. Okay, so this is going to be 2 pi times the distance between them, which was 0.05 times in the force acting on the first wire produced by the second, which they told us was 4 newtons, then all divided by the current flowing in that first wire, which was going to be uh, 1,000 amps, and times now the length of that wire, which was 2.5 meters, and times the permittivity, uh, permeability of free space, which is just simply 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th. And that's now going to equal your I2. All right, so... 2 pi, you can see you might be able to cancel some stuff, but I'm just going to plug it all in, pi times 0 0.05 times 4, divided now by parentheses 1,000 times 2.5 times 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th, close those parentheses, and we get a value of about 400 now amps. 
All right. So hopefully that helps, guys. That's how you're going to go about it. A couple substitutions. Why we do the substitutions the way we do. I I touched upon that in number 50. So thanks so much and uh, look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.